hello everyone and welcome to this movie on which I will present my script that uh, will almost export everything animatable from 3ds Max to Unity so let's start by simple example this is a box that contains uh, two modifier bend and twist and I animate them randomly as you can see here okay so this is the rollout of my script and here there is a warning only objects of geometry class will be exported of course and here I can set up the exported file location so let me put it in a unity file unity folder well the game unity 3d assets my objects and as you can see I can select only the fbx file it's my first version anyway just leave the name by per default hit OK and hit yes okay so uh, I have here two choices I can choose to, to export all the objects in the scene which means the geometry is only and the selected objects only like as I will do in this case okay so I will leave everything here I will not explain everything so just export the file hit yes and here we go now I'm in the F FBX exporter dialog the default one so you can set up your uh, data as, as you want okay so we just let let everything as it is and hit OK well here my script is asking me to save the scene because actually my script use a backup file as you can see here so if you are working in an interesting scene you should save it if you want to if you want to lose something anyway just now let me go to unity and update since I export it and that's it just m let me make it bigger the scale and test the game and you can see that the object is animated exactly as it was animated in uh, 3ds max okay anyway so let's go to another example let's use the melt modifier as you can see here my object is teapot that has a melt modifier do the same procedure just export and as you can see here it's a bit slower because actually a teapot contain more vertices than a box anyway and well I try to use the pose while progressing just to avoid you to wait while progressing but actually it's crashed sure so you must be a little bit patient guys anyway hit OK wait while the FBX exporter is calculating okay once done just go to the unity and update the file okay here is my teapot and let's test it as you can see it's melting okay don't waste time let's back to 3ds max and create another example here a flex modifier this cone that is damping and flexing okay just export the file I must select it first of all okay export the file hit yes leave everything as it is okay and wait okay go to unity and update play and that's it my cone is moving and damping okay so let's go do another example uh, I forgot I didn't show you the object so here my cone my volume selection and the flex okay uh, the, the example the next one it is the path deform just select these three objects that are so if you we select one of them you can see that it's they are simple comb with path deform bending and that's it and by the way actually here I wanna export multi selected object multi selection okay just hit export 
And we must wait. As I told you, I can not pose this nag at uh, movie recorder. If not, if not, it will crash. Okay. Yes. Hit. Okay. Wait. Okay. Once done, updating the Unity 3D. That's it. Hit play. And you can see that the objects are animated within Unity 3D from 3ds Max. Let's go ahead and do another example. The Morpher, which is interesting, pretty interesting. So I have here an object, simple objects, editable poly with a Morpher and smooth at the end. And I animated it randomly off as well. Okay, so just hit exported and here guys you must be a bit patient because actually this phase contain I don't know how much. Well just leave it. Well uh by the way I will explain what does mean animation the range. Actually this custom range here uh, has nothing to do with the range that is in the exporter FBX exporter dialog. Actually, these uh, will you will set up here the way that Max script or my script will uh, create the keys within 3ds Max before exporting them. Uh, I think that uh, I will explain you later on the last example maybe how it works. So here, when you use custom range, so you start, you choose, you choose the start and the end and the step. But if you use keys on the track, actually, it will uh, allow you to choose a specific track in 3ds Max, animated one, that will will be used as a reference. So uh, my script will will use the frame that are in this track to animate your current objects or current scene that you are you will export. So here. It's a way to uh, to optimize some keys. Okay, that's it. It's finished. Hit OK and wait a bit. Well, there is some materials fail exported. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hit OK. Go to Unity and update again. Here we go. That's it. My objects. And if I hit play, you can see that the morpher is working as well. It's not pretty good, smooth, but 